What is up? Welcome, friends. Welcome back to JB Breaks Free. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're doing something today just to get a little bit more free, whatever is holding you back. Uh, today I did some Instacart just to about noon. I uh, made 54 bucks. My goal is usually about 60. Uh, sometimes, of course, it'll be more, sometimes less. But I think I'm at like 164. Um, just banging around before lunch for three straight days now. Um, this is a short week for me at the restaurant. I had yesterday off, as I explained in the last video. And of course, luckily we have Christmas off, which is great. Um, so I'll be out there tomorrow to get over 200 for the week. And you know that can cover me a little bit for this short week. Or if we're in a decent spot, a little bit, maybe can go to the mortgage. Um, was I gonna say? But yeah, so I'm not gonna be out there Friday or Saturday because Christmas Eve is uh is gonna be a very busy day for me in this business where I work. Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, Mother's Day, those are kind of days you sign up for. But I'm luckily to uh, have the big days off, and it'll probably be about the same thing next week, obviously with New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. But I'll be grinding hard soon. Um, so I get out there, did some Instacart, um, put the receipts into some. Uh, receipt apps on the phone that get me a few extra bonus points. Receipt Hog, Fetch, uh, Coin Out, and Receipt Pail. That always helps. And lately, um, the last couple days, I've been chipping away at the movie It's a Wonderful Life. And you know, it sure is. And I have to remind myself that every day. And I think it's a good thing to remind yourself that, like, happiness is a practice. And, um, you know, I was reading a little bit today about Seneca and he was saying how we suffer more in imagination than in reality and don't put yourself through that suffering until the event happens. Most of it will never come true. It's mostly in your head. And there's a Mark Twain quote that was like, I've been through many troubles in my life, most of which never happened. And again, just like whatever you're going through, stay in the present, focus on what you can control. And that's the attitude I'm having today. I'm not going to get stressed out about work or anything else. Um, there's always things that I want to improve on, which I think give me some stress and anxiety. And But it's like the things that you think you want, like your vices, your cigs, your beer, drugs, bad food, um, you know, wasting too much time with video games. I'm not saying you can't play video games. But I know I will feel better if I don't do that stuff, if I do the right thing and work towards um, bettering myself, um, I don't have that sort of anxiety. But speaking of It's a Wonderful Life, I'm chipping away at that. I'm going to have some lunch before work today, and I'm going to um, watch that movie. also wanted to bring up Mickey Mouse shirt on today. Sometimes I wear stuff. Uh, and this is another thing from Seneca. It's like you dress up in weird clothes and so you don't care what other people think. And that goes through my head sometimes. I think every once in a while he would put on some like funky robes or whatever. And I know um, other practicing Stoics do this too. And it's just like, yeah, I'm going to wear this Mickey Mouse shirt out or have like a Superman one. And it's just like, who cares? You know, I mean, my kids love this shirt. I wore this. Uh, I got it when I went to Disney right before we started this journey, as I discussed in a previous episode. So, um, and it's always a, a big occasion when I wear a new shirt on one of these videos. Since I'm a minimalist and I don't have much clothes, but I'm starting to get some more. But um, what I wanted to do, and it kind of ties into the Christmas season and, oh, it's a wonderful life, is I wanted to let you guys know that just take a second, slow down, notice the blessings that you already have that would make for a perfect Christmas and holiday season. Um, I'm kind of grateful that I don't have a lot that I need. Like I'm tricky to get gifts for. Like I never wanted clothes for, for years and years. Of course, now I probably could use something. Um, you know, I, there's not like I don't have video games that I want. It used to be records, uh, but I don't collect records anymore. I used to collect sports cards, so like eBay gift certificates, stuff like that I would enjoy. And, you know, just random things. But now like, I feel like I have everything that I need, and I think that's a great feeling um, to have enough to be satisfied. And 
to count your blessings, to be aware of your blessings. A lot of these things that I'm about to list off, we take for granted. And I hope that this, this brings some awareness to you. Um, I would love to hear some of your guys' um, things that you're grateful for, whether it's 21, like I'm going to do for 2021, or 1, or 5, or 40. Um, let me know. And I hope today that you, A, stay present and don't suffer more than you need to. And B, when you're present, take a look around and be noticed and notice some of the things that you can be grateful for that you already have. Um, it's, it's a big deal to, to have that almost like a gratitude journal, which has helped me out tremendously in some of my darkest times. But I just want to go through uh, these 21 things that I am grateful for this holiday season. Um, you know, maybe one day. Uh, my family will look back at this video and they'll be proud of some of the things I listed. I always think that while we have our community here in the present, maybe one day my kids will look back on these videos and they'll be proud of their dad and kind of see in the process what I was thinking at the time, how I tried to better myself uh, and mostly for them because without, without them I would be lost. But here's what I got down. Uh, number one, my wife, she is a blessing I'd be totally lost without here to my kids twin girls they're eight and they're the light of my life they make me want to be a better man and a better dad and a better everything worker healthier um, all around they they've taught me so much about joy and and living in the present and I remember days when I was kind of down and, and I'd be cuddled up in the cold and freezing cold walking them to school and being like oh man maybe I gotta work later blah 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 and they'd be oh my god this this is amazing weather the snow is awesome and I'd be like I wanted to see life through the eyes of a child again and to have that appreciation and and they've given that to me and we have a slogan called best day ever today is the best day ever because it is you can make it that you know it doesn't have to be Christmas day it doesn't have to be your birthday or a day off any day can be the best day ever you have that power and they've given that to me, that gift. So I'm so grateful for them. Three, my job and my boss and my coworkers. Yes, I've had some rough coworkers in the past and some uh, things about my boss I didn't quite understand at the time, but he really is a great guy and he's tough, but I try to learn the lessons. And my coworkers and fellow waiters and staff, um, we all really get along well and, and that makes it a pleasure. I'm grateful for this house. Um, in the neighborhood that we live in, this is the street I grew up on. I just kind of moved up the street after our apartment, and I'm grateful that we are just about ready to pay this thing off. I'm grateful for our two cars, uh, which are paid off. Um, they have low mileage. They get me around. They allow me to side hustle during the day and allow me to get to work in a, in a convenient time. Uh, six is heat. Oh, boy, you don't really miss heat until it's gone or you know air conditioning too um those are things that i am grateful for there's actually people some dishwashers and stuff who are at the restaurant i work in and they i overhear they're struggling even getting the heat turned on and it's it's tough but i'm grateful for that i'm grateful for clothes uh for this mickey mouse shirt for the clothes that i have um i don't need a lot of clothes i don't need to be fancy anymore i used to like it and sure every once in a while but I'm, I'm grateful for the clothes that I have uh, eight is books books can keep me entertained I've read some great ones in my day uh, simple path to wealth uh, meditations by Marcus Aurelius Gary V crush it um, just to name a few uh, wait, seven, eight, nine is friends I got these numbers all mixed up um, I'm grateful for the friends that I have. They have been a uh, backbone in my life, and I was, I was always a pleasure to be with those um, boys and girls. Uh, eight, a phone to hustle with. Uh, you can do so much with your phone. It really is a blessing. I know sometimes it's a curse. You got to use your phone as a tool. Don't use it as a time suck. You can learn so much from your phone. You have so much to access. So many things you can do with your phone. Research, looking up stuff, investing bettering yourself, side hustling, and of course, communication. Use it as a tool. Uh, nine, food and water. I had two sevens. Um, I'm grateful for uh, that basic need. Ten, the decorations around the house. Um, puts you in the festive spirit. 
those are more important than presents to me at this point. Um, the girls make a lot of stuff. We have just decorations that we put up and we make a day of it, whether it's fall, uh, Valentine's Day, Christmas, um, Easter. It's nice to have those um, things around the house. Uh, 11, my health. Maybe my health should have been four. I don't know. But without health, you don't have anything. I guess these are in no particular order. Um, blessed to have the health I have. I do have some drawbacks, as do we all. Uh, I have small fiber neuropathy in my feet. I have a lot of pain in my back and even my neck. But I can get through the day. I'm used to it. And I know it could be a lot worse. 12, COVID-free. Uh, my immediate family has been COVID-free. I'm very blessed for that. I don't know how at the restaurant I work at that I have never managed to catch COVID, but who knows? Uh, let's see. Okay, 13, I wrote books again. So I guess I love books. Uh, Simple Path to Wealth, great one. 14, TV sh and like the shows I watch with my wife after a hustle and bustle day at like eight o'clock. Uh, we'll sit down and watch a couple shows together. Now we're watching Yellowstone right now, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, we've liked like The Walking Dead, Breaking Bad, Billions, um, Shameless, Sopranos. You know, we like to watch the good ones. I don't have a lot of time to watch TV because I work most nights. Usually when I get home after my job, I just kind of veg out with something. But um, I love TV time with my wife on my days off chessboard that's been a nice kind of new hobby i'm not that great at it i know there's a lot to learn and that's fun um i played my uncle once he beat me my daughters are like beating me now but they have lots of take backs 16 my guitar um that was my biggest hobby from like senior year in high school up until i discovered financial independence really and um and then put most of my time towards learning and hustling about that but i have uh, written a lot of songs in my day Maybe one day I'll throw uh, some songs up on here. Uh, 17 is an emergency fund. It, it is um, grateful to have that, to not worry about unex unexpected expenses. If something comes up, within reason, we have a decent chance of taking care of it, um, which is a nice feeling. And I recommend that you guys get an emergency fund going, at least of a little bit. Uh, maybe a thousand bucks. No consumer debt. That is a blessing. Also, um, it's nice to have that paid off, not having that uh, over your head. 19, um, to be born during this time. This is, I think, the best time to be alive in human history. Um, we're blessed to be at this time. If you're in the U.S., uh, you know, there's a lot of things to be thankful for. Um, I know there's a lot of things to get worked up about, too. But this it's a pretty good time overall. Uh, 20, I'm grateful for my life. Memento mori is a stoic phrase that lets you know, you know, meditate on your death. Like, you're going to die. Um, I think about that, and I try not to be scared of it. But I also realize that it's going to happen. I realize that this is my time to make my moves, uh, to appreciate the days and nights and family and events and the little things. Um, and not take it for granted. And 21, a minimalist mindset. On this whole list, I did not list um, anything that I might have wanted or collected or needed. You know, just some pretty basic stuff here. Um, all I need to be happy is inside of me. Um, you know, anything else is just external and um, minimalism has changed my life so much for the better. Yes, you can have stuff. I don't care your records, some sports cards like I mentioned I have, as long as it brings value to your life. If you have 25 records of your favorite bands, then so be it. If you have 50 books, then so be it. But make sure that stuff uh, brings value to your life. And I'd, again, I'd love to hear what you guys um, are grateful for once you kind of step back and realize the blessings that you already have. And you know, I'm sure I could list some more. But I'm wishing you all a great day. Like and subscribe and share this video. Get a little bit better today. Break free. Um, do your best. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care.